Hey everybody, welcome to this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you a really easy, really simple way to create an in-game camera feed. More precisely, how you can use these features of Unreal Engine to simulate something like a CCTV camera, a security camera or anything similar that can broadcast a live camera feed inside of your level to a different spot in your level. So this process includes, first of all, creating a camera that will allow you to kind of record a part of your level and then using the feed of that camera to actually present it on a different part or a different point in your level, simulating a in-game camera system or CCTV system or anything like that. So I already created a folder in my content here that's called CCTV and I'm going to create all of this right here as well. For now, I'm going to use this static mesh to actually create the screen. So let me pull it to the front and kind of adapt it a bit. I'm going to place it, well, somewhere around here and modify it somewhat. It's going to be the space where the same camera feed will be projected so let's pull it up a bit and let's change its dimensions so it can double as a really quick and easily made screen and from here on out with the screen in place we're going to create or add the camera that will allow for the same in-game feed. To do that, go to Place Actors and screen search for Screen Capture T2D. Here it is. And I'm simply going to drag and drop it into the level. I'm going to place it right here in front of my switch, which I created in my previous video. It's a simple light switch here. And right now we have the same camera and it's the first step towards creating the feed on this wall here. However, the thing I'm missing right now is the screen capture or more precisely texture capture element, which is the thing that the camera actually captures or presents inside of its virtual lens. Right now I can choose anything because I don't have an option to choose a texture target. So I'm going to create one. I'm going to add it here from materials and textures and I'm going to add render target. It's right here. So I'm going to call it CCTV and I'm going to assign it to the texture target camera here. So as you can see, it's here in the drop-down menu. I can choose it and voila, here we have it. And the preview, which is really cool, a feature of Unreal Engine is already showing the same scene. You can see that it's presenting this point of view from the same to the screen capture camera. However, for me to be able to present this on this wall here, I'll need to create a material instance. So I'm going to create a material from it and call it CCTV M. And now the same material can be used on a different surface as a kind of a movie screen that will present the camera output. So right now I'm going to drag and drop it here and here it is. As you can see, the camera is shooting here and it's projecting the same image right here. Just like a CCTV system, a closed circuit C TV system would do in real life. So let's test it out in the game. And here we are, you can see the same screen being presented on this wall right here. It's shooting and projecting at the same time. So it's a live feed, as you can see, I'm going to show it to you right now. 
here it is all of these actions in the game are being captured by the camera which is invisible of course and being presented or projected right here i can do the same when i turn off and turn on and turn off the light so the whole setup is working in real time and it's showing the image in real time also there is an ability for me to add additional processing to this image and i'm going to show you how i can do that if i again choose the same camera the virtual or screen capture camera i can find here among the capture source different option for me to choose from let's, he, let's have it here and I can change these presented in different variations and all of these can be then actually processed additionally through these options post-processing volume as you can see you have your lens color grading white balance and a lot more stuff that you can manipulate and have in the game as well so i can modify the same output however i like using post-processing elements and applying it in the level so let me show it to you as you can see the image is quite different from the one that is presented by my player camera but it is still working in real time and processing things in real time which is amazingly impressive when you think about it but that's how unreal engine mostly operates and provides things that are way beyond our expectations at least when we're beginners like i'm guessing you and me this is all for this video that shows you how to create an in-game camera feed hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it interesting if you did please leave a like also if you have any questions or comments use the option right below the video also i have a range of things that you can check out in the descriptions as well my other videos how you can support the channel i'm also selling a book on amazon that you can check out as well if you tend to waste time and of course if you're a first time viewer please consider subscribing and seeing my new videos as well that's all for me my name is Ivica thank you so much for checking out this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial hopefully I will see you on my next video and until then have loads of fun in your Unreal projects bye bye